like in a uh, in an awkward situation where everybody seems like a uh, a little tense, we'll say. I'm saying so. Don't do it yet. Maybe. I'm there's good. always the there's always the re the possibility that something goes wrong with a spell. Okay. I mean, I don't know how you feel about that one success on that not crap your pants roll there, Hex, but I feel like yeah, mm -hmm. might have a small problem. It's a lot of ones on that too. Exactly, that was like almost a glitch, two ones yeah. away from a glitch. So you're getting you're getting back to your comfort zone. <laughs> your comfort zone of being glitchy. <laughs> um, did <laughs> thing in Matrix Combat, well, especially with your brain, <laughs> your combat tool. Yeah, I will soak it with my face. So um, see, you on. gotta believe in yourself, then you'll start rolling better. Yeah, right. I I believe the, in you. The power Actually, is heck, that might be helpful. It's worth a shot. He's never done it before. <laughs> um, so the situation, to, to recap quite quickly, is you have two people in the, the basement manhandling a drone. Um, Hex is in life and death, if you would believe her. Uh, Matrix combat inside the host. And Rot and Sue are watching a security car turn around and head back their direction. Yeah, I kind of like, you know, the, the, the shields, uh, Jesus, the windows are still dimmed. Mm -hmm. And I tip off, like, Sue, and, you know, I, I think he should lie, but, you know, it's your it's your call, Sue. You're the talker. What's, uh, what's our lie going to be? What are we going to tell them? That's a good question. Because what you're suggesting is that I pop out just like I was sleeping in the back. Well, we are, uh, like, at night in the, uh... You can say, like, you know, we're doing the, you know, early shift or something, and we just didn't want to go home since something, something was happening, and, you know, we just slept in the van because reasons. So we're gonna... My lie is gonna be to tell hospital security that we work at the hospital that they work for? Or you could just say you're waiting for somebody. Yeah, I was thinking if Hex managed to shit up all the inside of the van, we could actually use that, but... <laughs> it's my van, don't do it. Unless you want to clean it up later. <coughs> well, I was thinking you would be cleaning it up now, and then they wouldn't want to bother us. Just chill in the van. If they do come and knock and inspect you, then just tell them you're waiting for some friends that are about to finish up some work. All right. And that wouldn't even technically be lying. <laughs> I like it. But in terms of rules, yes, it would be. Te okay. You are you are one hundred percent attempting to deceive them. So they're going to come around and they're going to start uh, heading in your direction. Um, did we finish off this second round of combat here, Hex, or are we still we still mixing it up? Yeah, you lost, Bams. I mean, it was obvious. Oh, oh damn. The last one that went was the probulator, I think. Okay. Was that the second or third time that you've been probulated? Uh, I believe that was the third time they tried to... No, that was the second time they tried to probulate me. Oh, okay. About since the suppression kicked in. Right. So yeah, you have the, the, uh, the opportunity to to have your sprites do their things again. Okay. I'm going to have Slither do suppression. The host is already suppressed. No, I thought it was coming off. Well, no, you have I'll two. Have next... You have two full combat turns before. Like this is combat turn one. You have the entirety of the next combat turn, and then the host can do stuff. So you have probably like four more passes before you need to worry about it. Okay. So, I need to roll for the Electron Storm. No, we can give it a shot again. I got to, right? I mean, you could not. You could... Or no, I'm sorry, you didn't you send that off to... No, you sent the suppression one. Okay. I'm back on board. Yeah. I sent Spoofer out. Not Splinter. Yep, I got you. So he attempts to Electron Storm. 
sounds really impressive, and it would be if I could do it. I mean, it would be if you managed to succeed. Believe. I feel like after he gets hit, it's probe you later, no probing. Sort of like you were the explorer. Uh, you oh, have successfully he... tased him, bro. <laughs> yeah. Now he takes extra damage from any subsequent attacks while that's active. And he has a noise penalty, I think. Yeah, what a jerk. Um, so your guy that you sent off on a search comes back with, Hey boss, I found it. And it kind of points at a file. <laughs> I'm like, good. Um, go open that door for whatever that guy's name was. Well, I can open it. All I need is the number. Okay, well, then I'm going to ping well, the number. Then. I can try to open it. So is that <laughs> here's that, that fun thing where a file is encrypted, sir. It's almost as no. if patient information was a very protected thing. No, and what's worse yet, uh, Curiosity killed the cat. I must unencrypt. I must decrypt. Yeah, but shame. you do have bonus dice because of it. Yeah. What is it, a plus two to decrypt, I think? Mm-hmm. Check for data bombs. There's no way they would check. There's no way they would put a data bomb on there. Um, the, the famous last words of a technomancer. Would it hurt to check? <laughs> um, can I check for a data bomb? That's <laughs> perception test. I'm. Um, I'm okay with that. I think. Okay. You may you may roll a matrix for test. There is no data bomb. It has rating for encryption. Oh, rating for encryption, I don't like. Yeah, that's too bad. That's what you're going to have to deal with. That is, that is, <laughs> sad. That is sadly yeah. your turn, because Matrix stuff is complex actions. Do you have a uh, relevant uh, complex form? What do you mean by do I have a relevant complex form? Like that you can, a complex form that you can use to help decrypt or anything like that? Um, I only got two of character creation, so I decided to take Cleaner and um... Static Fail. Static okay. Fail. Yeah. I was drawing a blank. So if you would roll your intuition and your willpower again? Maybe your Static Fail power is, you know, firing off at random moments, glitching you. It's a failed power, after all. <laughs> so when we do hold the uh, RFID chip up to one of the maglocks, do the corpse doors open? Yep. Then we're just gonna start opening random ones until we get the name or the right body. Yep. And if it's not the right one, I'd like to close it. You know. So I, I imagine this as a uh, as a team effort of big strong orc man lifting this up, smashing it against the door. Uh, Dante mm -hmm. like pulling it open, pulling it out, and like zipping the thing down and looking at his face. I'm like, is this him? No. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Right, now, so... someone walks in and... What? <laughs> this oh. is a sex thing. <laughs> I don't know if that <laughs> makes it better or not. My name's Buck. It's not <laughs> what it looks like. It's not a weird sex thing. So, um... They close the door and back away. Outside, you guys are going to see that the security truck, or the security car, is coming back towards you. Uh... <laughs> It's little uh, lights that are flashing yellow, just so it's like you know, hey, I'm a security vehicle, and it's uh, it seems to be slowing down in front of you guys. Yeah, they definitely. Um, now it's your time, so not yet. I'm sleeping, and they uh, <laughs> they're gonna sit there for a moment as they come to a full stop, and. Uh, Another couple of seconds are going to go by. Do you guys do anything? Do you like? Uh, can I aim the laser microphone at the uh, windshield to sort of uh, 
check if I can see what they're saying or something. Sure. Do you want to give me a uh, a sensor test, and we'll see what you uh, with do. electronic warfare or sure. something? Sure. Uh, so, Hex, uh, are you are you running silent? Currently, no. I've already been caught, so no. Gotcha. I am like hot sim as fast and as hard as I can get it to go. Hurry uh, the hell problem. up. I just needed to uh, just needed to know. Um, Rot, are you um, are you running so, here silently? Uh, yes, yes, everything's silently. Uh, but my question would be, uh, what do I roll now? Like uh, electronic warfare plus what? Just, just, just this. Plus your logic. Okay. And then if you could roll me just your logic after that, that'd be great. Coming right up. Like boosted logic, right? Are you... You're not using your control rig, right? Uh, I mean like with the Cerebral Booster. So not like six, yeah. but eight. Yes. Yes, you can roll that eight. Okay. So th you're going to hear a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it's going to be like... Um, this is... Uh, I don't know, let's call them just like Unit 7. I'm on patrol at the, the rear of the hospital. There's a suspicious vehicle. I am moving to investigate on foot. One voice? Yeah, you only hear one voice. And then... Uh, uh -huh. You're going to hear the door kind of click open. And he's going to he's gonna step out. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, Rot, tell me where, uh, so where... Where are we all in the context of the inside of this van? Well, you're sort of crammed in between my drones, uh, but that's a big van, so uh, I, I assume you'd be crammed like uh, near the back, since okay. there's like mo most of the stuff is in the front. And you're sitting, you're sitting in the the driver's seat, like as though you're napping there. Sure. Uh, is there anyone with us? Uh, Hex. Hex is, is with us. Yeah. Hex is so he can be next to me. Why not? I thought we put her on the floor under a blanket. Uh, sure, that works too. Do you, uh, do you guys want to roll me a palming test to see how well you're able to, to hide her sleeping form? <laughs> <coughs> like uh, me too. I have palming six. Is yours better than that? I believe. Oh, it actually might. Wait. Uh, it's no, it's zero. Job. I have no anything. I cannot like palm without palming, right? Uh, I believe palming is a non-defaultable skill, if my memory serves. So I can just uh, agility that shit. I don't know. No, if you don't have ranks in the skill, I don't think that you can actually. Uh... So it's up to you, Sue. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, you can default if you wanted to uh, to roll your agility minus one rot. Uh, like the uh, mechanical hand agility? Because now I have a, like, a normal agility and my mechanical hand agility. Uh, this would be the average of your mechanical hand plus your meat body. Because you're kind of like using it's... both your hands. So and... six and three, that's nine. So that's like four or five? It'd be five. Okay. I'm sorry, it would be four because it's five, and then since you don't have the skill, it's negative one. Okay. All right, well, yep. you, you didn't make things worse, but you didn't help. So, that's good. And now if uh, okay. Sue wants to go ahead and roll. Bamps, are the uh, cameras still good? Um, probably not because we didn't uh, we didn't really continue to roll edit files when we entered into <laughs> to combat. Uh, 
But hey, it's only like six seconds of you guys being called on any kind of camera you might have been called on. What's the worst that could happen? Stop saying that! <laughs> um, okay, so security officer that you don't, uh, you don't know anything about kind of flicks on one of those giant flashlights it's like <laughs> light everywhere and begins coming up to the uh, the driver's side of the door uh, just in case anything happens I turn on my uh, smoke drone but it doesn't do anything yet okay so it's just uh, it's just ready to smoke up your car <laughs> <laughs> sure okay so uh, Sue I'm asleep in the back. Okay, so he's, you know, he, he's uh, getting into character. So yeah. far I've been told he's turned on a flashlight. I haven't heard him knock or talk to you or ask or do anything that would in any way wake me up if I were actually sleeping in the back. He takes a moment it... to uh, to wander around the car. Okay. Okay, is there any reason I would kn know that there's another person in the car? Uh, the... Uh, his car? Uh, there's no real way for him to to know. Like, he can see that the car is running. He can assume that there's probably somebody in there, just because. Um, we killed the we killed the engine. Uh, I was under the yes. impression you turned it back on. I really remember you saying that. Uh, they turned no. it back on, and then they said that they killed the engine afterwards. We we killed it when we were tucking Hex in and doing all that stuff. It's scroll up quite a ways. Sure. Yeah. It was in text chat. They were killing it so they didn't look different. Sure. Um. <clears throat> um, Rod, you could keep pointing that microphone at the other car and see if anybody else is talking on the radio in there. That That's what I'm doing. I'm still pointing it there and waiting if something right. happens. Uh, you don't hear anything out of the other car, and he makes like a full circle. He's flashlighting up and down your vehicle. Um, uh, can the windows actually stop the, the light? He can't see in, but you can obviously see like it won't be as bright as it would have been if you ever had one of those cop flashlights shined in your face. But uh -huh. like you can very obviously tell like when the flashlight comes up, and he'll see like your your tinted windows. Okay. Um. You know, I can... Oh, never mind. I was just getting violent there for a second. Thought I could run him over. You could. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make that attempt. Um, okay, so we're waiting for him to do anything. Yep, and he will come around and knock on the uh, the driver's side glass with the, the butt of his flashlight. <clears throat> Meanwhile, downstairs, right. you guys will have uh, gone through a couple of these things. Uh... Jed, it's kind of up to you how tired you would feel lifting up this big, heavy, heavy drone over and over again. Um, but you will find your, you will find your man. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, is he in a body bag, or is he just on the slab? He's on the slab in a bag. In the bag. Okay. Uh... I am going to lift him out, put him on the gurney. Yep, you guys can easily do that. You're big, strong, beefy men. And I want to rub... Rub... <laughs> run, <laughs> not rub! Yo, I, I thought we said this wasn't a sexual, sexual thing. thing. Yeah, uh, run my bug scanner over him. Sure. We are shadow runners. we lie. Oh, my bad. You want to go ahead and roll your, uh, your bug scanner? Yep. You're palming. Uh, you will indeed find a toe tag. It's like on the the top of his right foot. It's an RFID. How's about How's about that? Uh, okay, I would like to erase said tag. And then just walk out like we own the place. Yep. yep. And for the love of God, hex, get us off of candid camera. Oh, let's make sure everything's closed up. Put the drone back where it was. Yeah. I mean, it's bad enough when you leave the refrigerator door open overnight. 
And at this point, if we're on camera, we're going to need Hex to try and kill the file, not just kill the cameras. Mm-hmm. Can't you guys just, you know, put on a mask or something? Well, we can now, but we have been on camera already. So. Uh, by the way, when you're leaving, I'm just going to say that the fly spy will land somewhere on you, so that, you know, don't squash it. I'm going to send you a little text. Okay. Are there any doctor's masks or surgical masks in the uh, room? Uh, sure, there can totally be a, uh, like those white lab coat things. Doctor Orc. Well, I was thinking for concealing my face. Oh, uh, sure. You could totally grab them out of like a little box. Uh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. And hold it over my face uh, they go over until we ears. get confirmation. Or yeah, well, I mean, you know, cover my face until we get confirmation. I'm just going to look towards the ground, try and keep him from seeing my face. Alright, uh, you guys go over and you hit the button for the elevator. and With my elbow. <laughs> I'm sure. As not to leave any prints. <laughs> now, now Given we're the manhandling you've done of the drone, I'm pretty sure you're wearing gloves. Yeah. Sure. You know, there's going to be, if at worst, there's a big box of latex gloves in the in the room somewhere. Yeah. Uh, which just leaves Hex. Hex, what you doing, buddy? Well, first I think I'm supposed to make a composure test. I mean, that's probably not a bad way to start. Well, no, I'm talking about to see if I, We're I can... We're in the hospital. You can get one of your servants to close for you. Let's see about that, that, that file crack in there. Oh, man, nope. that doesn't look I gotta good. Crack it. I gotta you crack it, guys. Gotta crack it. Sorry. I've you got to, to uh, crack it. You can spend edge on that if you wish. How many edge do you have left? Uh, I should have two left. Then do it. I mean, it's better to run now. What do you yeah. have to beat? Three. Three. So you need a three or better. Mm-hmm. He needs two hits on nine dice. Yeah. I'd say it's worth um, it. I'd edge that, try to delete the videos from the camera, and then we're about ready to get out of here. Do we know about the cops? That's up to them. Yes. Well, seeing as I am a small unit tactics expert, I would absolutely relay all the information to everyone. <laughs> you are too? Right? Cool. So you guys know that there's a uh, a security guard of some kind is is checking out the vehicle. Um, but yeah, no hex. You you got three hits. You're like, oh god, things have already gone horribly wrong enough as is. I don't, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> uh, I needed to change the cameras, which means I need to make an edit file roll, right? Yup. Now is that for deleting footage too, or just like? So you would need uh, a significant amount of hits to go back in time to delete the stuff from the previous because we didn't do it as we were supposed to. So maybe just nuke the footage? You could could try and delete the footage if you wanted. Like, what would it take to just... Like, best case scenario, I'd like to try and remove the footage and just have that be done. Just completely from, like, when we got in to when we left, if I can help it. Uh, you would be looking for, <coughs> excuse me, uh, at an edit file roll with a a decent amount of net hits that you're going to need to get. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound very competent. But so it's, what a, about it's the kind of thing you can kind of work, like, you can take multiple turns to do because, like, you're you're going back in time and deleting stuff. Uh, would I be able to get one of my two cracking sprites here to help me? Uh, yeah. They have the computer skill. Spoofer was so good at finding that file, I'm going to have him try and help me. Sure, you want to roll eight dice, we'll see how much he gives you to assist. 
gotta give him a uh, spoof or snack. Well, he's not much help, but he'll give you one extra dice on all your tests to, to do things. Wait, cut out. Technomancers get like spirits forever? No, he has tasks. No. He does. Um, I'm currently one of them's only got one task left, and that is Slither. He's yeah, pretty much burnt. I've got I think two tasks left on Spoofer, and like two tasks left on um, Splinter. Mm, Master Splinter? No, this is only a little baby Splinter because he's only like level four. So, um, yeah, if you want to go ahead and make some edit files, you can begin to edit file. Mm -hmm. As I double check what that's resisted by. Intuition firewall. Okay, I will make a note of that. I have a number in my mind. You have not deleted it all. Going outside the car. Um, security guard man has just given you a knock on the window. What you doing, Rot? That's going to be pretty loud, right? Eh, it's going to be decently. He's not trying to, like, break the window, which he could probably give it a good attempt at with a one of those big old mag lights. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking that knocking on the car with that is going to reverberate. That would be enough to wake somebody up. Potentially, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe shuffle around a little bit like you just woke up. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know how heavy this van is, but yeah, that, that's what I was thinking about doing. Um, shuffling around a little bit, making it clear that somebody was moving in back there sure. so that he's not surprised when I pop out. If memory serves, though, Rot was in the driver's seat? Yes. Yeah, Rot, Rot's in the driver's seat. I'm in the back. Sure. Uh, Rot, so you rolled out on the window? Uh, no. I just pretend like I'm not there. Okay. A, a couple of seconds will go by. If you guys don't do anything, he will knock on the window again. Uh, is, the, is there, like, a barrier between the front seats and the back? That's your vehicle, In sir. the van? Because... Uh, so I, I'd assume there's like a removable barrier of some kind uh, that I can sort of, you know, close the, the back portion. So I close it now. I okay. pretend I, like I'm not there. And I give Sue, you know, a thumbs up. All right, I'm going to open the cargo door. Okay. Uh, you will see that the area kind of like, <clears throat> he very obviously turns to the sound of the, the door opening as the flashlight bathes the back of the air, the back behind the van in light. Yeah. He'll ask for a who goes there. Hello? Mm. Oh. Hello? 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 Please step out where I can see you. Yeah. Yeah, not sure. I do so. Um, okay. When, you know, like feet on the ground and then out the back of the van yawning really big showing off my full height yep so he'll see you like stretch up above the back of the uh, the van before you even kind of turn around like, and then uh, like scratching my head looking around sort of confused sure uh, mm. and the cop's like Godzilla Godzilla <laughs> he's, he's Asian he's like this is why I left Japan Hello. You're on private hmm. property? I'm going to have to ask you what you're doing here. Huh. Yeah, of course. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. I, I've... i um, uh, Must have fallen asleep in the back there. Oh, I beg your pardon. Um. <clears throat> right, right. Um. Oh, hospital. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Mm. Do you want to roll a uh, a perception test? And uh, let's do negative two because he's shining this bright ass flashlight like right at your face. That's no good. Yeah. These these mm. these, these flashlights are assholes. 
Yeah, they are. Uh, perception. It's an uh, anti-lying flashlight. <laughs> nah, it's just a blind the shit out of you flashlight. <laughs> the light okay. shines through the truth. Perception at negative two. Yeah. I don't actually have a language barrier, babe. I'm just acting like I do. Thanks. Might I suggest some edge? In the perception? I don't know. Maybe wait for... Oh, yeah, for a perception, yeah. No. I mean... I have perceived box... everything I possibly can. Boxcars are pretty good to have, right? <laughs> so, um... Middle-aged human guy... Uh, he's wearing a, a pretty standard uniform, it looks like. It's kind of hard to pick out the colors between the, the flashlight and the just general darkness of the area. Uh, his... He's got the flashlight in his left hand, and you can see that his right hand is kind of hovering next to where one might be carrying a sidearm, but uh, mm. you don't know. You can't really see if it's like a sidearm, if it's a pistol, a taser. It's, it's kind of hard to make out. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, hello. Yeah, and Cholgan, I'm so sorry. I've fallen asleep in the back there. Uh, do you have the time? Uh, as I think real quick on what time it might actually be. I feel like it's probably like 12.45 or so. Like you guys got here at like 12.30 and you're like, drag it, let's go. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, just take a couple of minutes. Was, um, without moving his flashlight, like, it's quarter to one. Ah. Oh. Gott sei Dank. Ah, oh, thank. I, I thought I'd overslept and missed it. Wunderbar. Ah, I beg your pardon, of course. You're, I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm providing a ride back to the domicile for my friend who is working here. And I am so happy to be told that uh, we have uh, just some few moments longer to wait now. They should be at, at 1 o'clock coming off the ship. Mm. Do you want to go ahead and roll, <sighs> some, roll some con dice, sir? That wasn't convincing enough on its own. <laughs> I mean, there, there's got to be dice. That's why. That's why we're playing games. Uh, okay. Mind games. Are you happy with that level of success? Uh, I mean, we, we are getting near the end of the stuff. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm gonna... Yeah, I am, but I'm gonna edge it anyway, because... Because sometimes know. dice are awesome. Right. Uh, so what, I want to roll nine more now? Yep. Six isn't bad, as I do a quick bit of mental math about how uh, how much this guy's bullshit detector is going off. Uh, yeah, I'm jamming the bullshit detector. I'm, can you roll to jam the bullshit? <laughs> uh, that's like electronic warfare? It's like social warfare. <laughs> no, that's your uh, pistol skill. What's your friend's name, sir? Oh, is he talking to me? Mm-hmm. No, he rolled, like, nice. Oh, I see. That's, that's you rolling. Mm-hmm. Damn you, Bams! I'm making that shrugging My... motion again. Mine point who works in the hospital, Jürgen Klinsmann? You know him? Sorry, sir, that name's not, uh, 
not familiar to me. Oh, that's a shame. He's a wonderful person. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you shall have to ask around next time you are making your rounds. If you uh, do happen to come upon him, I would highly suggest you stop and say hello. Who should I tell uh, we're looking for him? Uh, I, I can send like a, a text to Sue that we might actually like take off and then get a message and then just quickly, you know, stop by, take them up and leave. So is that? Is, that, is that a thing? So, you know, we can take off now. You can just get in and we say like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and, you know, go away or something. Yeah, uh, if, if, he, uh, if he tries to move us on, we can do that. But Or just magic him. He's alone, apparently. Uh, yeah, that, that's another possibility. Um, sorry, Bams, did he say something? Yes, he asked, who should I tell him was looking for him? I'm... I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Your name, sir. Oh! <laughs> I'm Friedrich. Is that the name that is on Pleased your fake Pleased to meet sin? you. And I'm going to, uh, what's that? I said, is that the name that's on your fake sin? No. Okay. Just knowledge that I might need to know. Um, and extend a, uh, how far away is he from me? I, I imagine he, like... You came around the corner of the back of the the van, and he's up at the uh, the driver's side still. And unless you had advanced upon him, like that is the kind of the distance that I believe you guys are at. I was uh, going to avoid advancing upon him. That's about what uh, I figured. at least at least while he had his hand in that position. Um, how long are my arms? Uh, you're like nine, ten feet tall, so probably about four feet. Not enough to reach him from the back of a van. Okay. Um, now, I would like to uh, do something here. I am willing to entertain your ideas of doing something. <clears throat> mm. I'm just sweating a little bit in the driver's seat. Sure. You can probably hear all this going on outside your uh, your van. You implant a single suggestion in the victim's mind like a powerful post-hypnotic command. Mm -hmm. uh, now, as I understand this, if I cast this at a lower force, it's possible that he won't even realize it's happening, and thus won't be able to resist it. There is nothing that keeps him from getting a resist roll. Okay. Hmm. Then you can, if you mm -hmm. have reagents, spend reagents to keep more hits on a lower force spell. Um. What then is the benefit of the lower force? If you open your book to the perceiving magic paragraph, lower force is less visible. Right. That. Oh, but even if he doesn't detect it, he does still get to resist it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Gotcha. Uh, page 280. Okay. So... Spell casting is going to be... Um, if I have a specialization in the type of spell that it is, do I get my specialization dice on on the... Um, it's, it's like spell casting minus force that he has to to hit to perceive, right? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with no, because this is just general magic kind of thing, but if we find out someplace later on that it should, then we can we can roll it in going from there. Okay. Um, then let's do... Um, Oh, three. Okay. Would it be helpful at all if I like distracted him while he cast the spell? That would be the opposite of helpful. <laughs> it would certainly be uh, be a thing that you could do, but it would not reduce his resist pull at all. 
Dante suggests distracting him with bullets. Yeah, I, I, I like, you know, launch up Zig and Zack and just shoot him up. What's the worst that could happen? Um, so at force three, I would have 11d6 that I'm rolling here. It doesn't reduce your... It'd be whatever your uh, your normal spell casting dice is. Uh, plus the force of the spell, right? Mm -mm. Force of the spell doesn't do anything. Okay, so just... It's your limit, isn't it? Yeah, it's your limit, yeah. but... It doesn't increase your, your dice. Just stop, like, writing stuff, Dante. Just get out of there, let's shoot him and go home. Um... <laughs> So I, I'm just rolling, like, my spellcasting dice? Nothing is added to that? Magic plus spellcasting plus your specialization. Okay. That's better. Dante and Jetto having a very nice, quiet elevator ride right now. Can we be skipping? I mean, you don't have a lot of space inside an elevator to be skipping, but if you wanted to skip in place, you could totally do that. I've been in freight well, elevators bigger than my bedroom. But probably, probably not this one. Our head probably not. I imagine this one's just like... You could fit a... Uh, a hot, I'm holding my arms apart as if you guys can see how large that is. That's super helpful. Um, I can see. Thanks. You have tiny arms, man. I mean, wow. Yo, I I skipped arm day, man. Let me let me be. Um. Yeah, but yeah, I imagine it's no bigger than like a bed and a bed next to each other, and maybe a little bit of space for a person to get the the hospital beds up and downstairs. Um. um so you got four hits, and he has to roll. It's probably not that many dice, but. He has to roll perception and intuition. No, I'm gonna roll his uh, his resist for the actual spell first. Oh, okay. Which I believe is nothing. Logic plus willpower. Okay. Thank you so much. It is so very kind of you to offer, but there's no need for you to send a message to my, my friend. We've already arranged to be meeting here so that I can drive him home. I will simply continue to wait here by the car, and you, I'm sure, can continue on your patrol, and everything will work out just fine. With a three, does he see? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, if he gets uh, like influenced and he sees the spell, does it change anything? Um, it, it's a weird situation where like he might notice that a that a magic thing has happened, but he probably does not notice that it came from you. Um, at least not immediately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this though and uh, put one of those up full red yeah uh, so Hex you're inside the the host are you still uh, still trying to get those camera files I probably am if I can help it sure you go ahead and uh, roll your dice get my help first. And remember, each combat turn of Matrix Assistance is a uh, is a task. No, that means this is, I think, like, my last task for him. Yeah, it's a, it's a bitch how that works sometimes. Yeah, that sucks. Um... Spoofer. No, never mind. I still got a few more services. I'm down to three services. <laughs> Slither, however, if I get him to do anything, he's gone. Well, we're probably going to be out soon anyway. Then you're going to have to dump the host soon. So use what you can. Okay. 
that's the nice thing about kids. You can always make more. And then um, sell the old ones. Yeah, I need to go to my character sheet so I can roll my... my edit matrix. Edit file. Man, we need to make up a cheat sheet for you. We do, don't we? Yeah. Just saying, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Yep. But, uh... So what? Oh, there you go. There's, there's basic math for us. It wasn't basic math. I just had to find a spot on the character sheet. Or just stop using the thing. Just, you know, write up numbers. Okay. You want to give me uh, give me one more? And we'll see, see how that does as far as uh, things. Um... Resist being probulated, or uh, if you want to roll resist to be probulated, and you're gonna roll another edit, uh, another edit to try and get past. Um, and I forgot that. Uh, let's see, one, two, four. Okay, three, four. So I did good. I, I really yep. anti probulated, C continued to not be probulated. This guy really wants to, to probe you. Uh, two. Yeah. Two bonus dice. Why does a compu uh, computer of a of the hospital have like a probulator? It's the because it's just, it's just standard <laughs> matrix defense stuff. So all your standard matrix defense stuff is probulating. So the. Uh, the ice that was launched is the probe ice, and their job is to get more marks on things. Mm -hmm. Because Make presumably easy, the like, the next ice that is launched is going to do bad things to you when you have more more marks on you. Yep. So basically, I've been stalling with suppression to keep the next ice from launching. Yep. Which has been very good for you. Um, Which has been great for me. So you're you're sure you got the. Uh, the footage that you missed when you were distracted. Meanwhile, Jet and Dante are coming out the up to the back door. Um, the security guard is going to look around pretty panicked for a minute, and he's going to step back away from Sue, and he's going to pull his gun. It's like, sir, I'm going to need you to be careful. There's some magic going on around here. I, uh, you should get back inside your vehicle. <laughs> mein Gott! Run to the back of the van. Dive in. Terrified. Uh, you guys will hear him over his comms. You're like, yeah, though I was there was just magic going around. Something is definitely going on. Uh, call for backup. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this run is like fantastic. Milk run, chummers. Milk run. See, see, I told you, magic always does things, bad things usually. Oh, uh, pull out my what... comm link. Yeah. Can I'm can I, I can like pull it out if need be? Do, I don't know. Can I try to jam this transmission or whatever he's doing? Do you have something to get to to make noise happen? Uh, would a jammer be okay? Sure would. What rating jammer do you have? Yes, uh, the jammer. Uh, area up. four. Okay, so you flick on the jammer to try and stop him from making a phone call as you see him like. Uh, you know, reach for his calling. I'm like, <laughs> no, and I'm pushing the button. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, let me roll some dice here. Can I, like, electronic warfare my jammer for some reason? No. The jam signal's jam? action is actually a, uh... It's actually an attack-based action, and RCCs do not have an attack attribute. Uh, okay. Uh, so this guy goes to, you know, use... Uh, but, but, but that's, that's, like a, that's like a thing? Like a piece of gear? A jammer? So... Yeah, there's a jammer. You okay. can also use your cyberdeck as a jammer. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to kind of forgo doing anything else with it. Oh, okay, it, so no. But it is an attack-based action. So he's gonna, you're going to hear him make the report, and then he's going to go base respond, and he's like, oh, and he starts kind of like, I guess kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, he's pulling um, his gun around a little places, and he's getting back into his vehicle. Uh, so I was going to... Sir! Sir! 
Is everything going to be okay? Is are my friend going to be okay? Should I stay here? Should I remain here? Are you uh, are you presenting yourself? Am I presenting myself? Yes. Like, are, you sort of of the are you stepping yeah. out of the vehicle again? Are you? Um, what I wanted to find out first was would the thing that Rot just did also make my comm not work? What is the device rating of your comm link? Four. Okay. Um, Rot, have you? Do you have your jammer running wirelessly? Uh, is that a trick question? Like, so, uh, so if you have it running wirelessly, you can exclude certain people from being jammed. If you do not, you just yeah. jam everything. Uh, so I want yes? it to be jammed, or rather, it's not bad if it is. Uh, I can like exclude him, but he can like pretend. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, Sue. So I'm like making a show of making a call. Um, you know. Friedrich, Friedrich. No, but like, are you are you stepping out from behind the van again? Are you? Uh, Jesus, he's got a heart attack, the guy. Um. Yeah, just... I was gonna say when when I um when I try to make the call, and I can't get through. Um, I was going to call out to him. Okay, but you're, are you staying in the van, or are you getting out of the van again? Um. I'll be getting out, but I'm going to do it slowly. Okay. So as you uh, begin to to get out, he's going to point his his sidearm towards you and like, "Sir, get back in the vehicle. You should be getting out of here immediately. Something is up. There has been a security breach." Sir, I can't reach my friend. Um. Like if your friend is inside, he will be contained and safe when the as the building locks down. There is backup on the way. Knight Errant has been notified. Everything uh, is under okay. control. Maybe we're maybe Dante, is... Dante and I. You're All coming right. up to the back door. Um I maybe. I don't know if you guys saw in the chat, I subvoked you to uh give it a minute. Um why is he not leaving like I told him to? You got back out of the car? Oh fuck me! Like he told you to leave. He was getting going back towards his car. The thing jammed. He started freaking out. You got back out of the car. And he's like, "Sir, you you need to go." But he's maybe Dante is actually right. We should like jam him with bullets and you know fuck it. Um, not yeah. bullets, but should we drop some this stick guy? and shock will cure what ails us? <laughs> Gel bullets. I've got a better idea. Um, <laughs> Magic again? Right. I will uh, slowly ease. So, so turn around to I, sit on him. I'm in the back. I'm in the back of the van, like kind of near the corner of it. Mm -hmm. And he's over by his vehicle. Yep, he is going back towards his vehicle. He is pointing his gun around in random directions, looking for somebody that magicked him. <laughs> so he's really scared. Uh, maybe not like scared, oh, terrified, but definitely like on edge. Okay. He has edge. He's a shadow runner. Damn it! No, he got two hits on his balls check. Okay. Also, keep in mind okay. if you do drive away to go with the story, you will quickly be leaving jammer range. Yeah. Um. That's not going to be the next thing we do. Um, but if he doesn't okay, see so you, you he's going are... back to his car. What's that? If he can't see you, like if you get back underneath the the cover of the car, he will continue to go to his car. Okay. Um, where are the fellas inside? Like I, I sent them a subvoke to... Yep, they are coming up to the back door. They're like in the biohazard area. Just holding... Are they able to see this? They have feed from your guys' uh, <coughs> drones in the air. Alright. Um, I'm just going to hang out in the back then for a minute. Sure. Please tell me somebody's going to let me know when they walk out that back door so I can, like, 
you know, roll to jack out and quickly. Yeah, once we're outside of camera range, we'll let you know. So he's going to get back in his car. Um, off your laser mic, you're going to hear some cursing from inside and what sounds like him fighting with something. Kind of hard to tell. He tries to, to come in to, to base again about uh, needing backup and all of that other good stuff. Um, Rot, you will see him flash his high beams into the parking lot like he's like you're parked and then he's parked off to the side kind of like as if he was trying to give you a jump but he's not blocking you and he's flashing his lights at you um does he does he want something uh, so we like can we like ignore it right now he told you guys to to get out of here that there is a security breach and Okay, um, Rot, you said something about a, something that can smoke? How far uh, away from the loading dock is this? Can, can, can we just, you know, start the car, get near to the loading dock, you know, grab the guys and run? I mean, before he gets around to doing anything, we're gonna be long gone. Can you just lure him out and, so that we can pop him? I'm... I was thinking about popping him, but I need some clarification on uh, range. Okay, range, line of sight A, line of sight area, type M. How do I? I can't tell how big this is. Is what I'm trying to mortar meters in force, or force in meters, however you want to. Okay, so a stun ball that would be big enough to guaranteed put him down would also hit us. <laughs> Almost assuredly. The other thing is you but, currently have no line of sight to him. I don't know that if there's like a stun ball that's guaranteed to put him down. Yeah, it's the damnedest thing about dice. Um... I'm pretty sure I could do it. I don't know if I would be able to move under my own power afterwards, but uh, it, we would be within the area of it. Hmm. Well, if you don't move within your power, I doubt we could. You guys are more than welcome to kick open that door and come storming out anytime you want. Yeah, how far away is all this happening from the loading dock? Uh, so one of those long dumpsters, so that's probably like 15 meters, maybe... Probably no more than two combat turns at a run. Because you guys all have decent agility, right? Yeah. Alright. Uh, sit tight for a sec, Jet. And I'm going to walk out and start strolling over towards the van. I'm not running. Okay. Um, once you get back out into like the lit area a little bit more... Uh... You guys from the laser mic are going to hear that he says, Sir, get back inside the building. There's been a security breach. Knight Aaron is being notified. Uh, and when that doesn't project out the front of the car, he, like, opens his door and does, like, the one-foot step out, and he points towards towards you as you're, you're coming out the building. He's like, Sir, I'm going to need you to go back inside. We have a, a security issue that we need to handle. Knight Aaron has been notified. Okay, can I, like, with certainty say that Knight Errant wasn't notified? Can you, I you turned the jammer tell on. that? Okay, oh. that's all I can tell. You do, you do not know how good his comlink is. Okay. We know how he's been acting, though. Um, can I see uh, Dante strolling? Did you go up to, like, the front of the, the van to look through the, the windshield? No, I'm in. I'm like in the sitting on the edge of the back. Then you are facing the wrong direction, sir. All right. Okay. As I'm oh, walking but... towards the van, I'm gonna but raise my hands him. up and surrender. Keep walking though, and say, "Whoa, whoa, I'm just my friend's picking me up in the van here." Sir, I'm sorry. Protocol demands that everybody waits inside in the uh, in the event of a code green. Is that Friedrich? 
Sir, I need you to get back inside your van and leave. I'm I'm inside the van. I'm inside the van. Is this my friend that I'm here to pick up? Doesn't matter, sirs. I'm going to have to ask you to to return to your appropriate places until we all right, get this all sorted. I am out. going to uh, I'm going to hit him with influence again. Okay. Go ahead and uh, declare force and all that good jazz. Uh, I'm going to start the car. Um. He doesn't know you're there yet. Doesn't matter. You can. Well, whatever. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> I don't much care. If it's, if it's your car, you could just start it remotely. You don't have to like. Oh, I could. Okay. All right. Come on, Neil, I gotta do some sheets after this. What, uh... What force were you casting that at? Uh, I wanted it to be three, but am I able to use one of my reagents to do something with this? And yes, you're able to increase... The amount of reagents you spend will set the limit that you are, you are casting it at. Um... And so that would mean I get to keep more hits, but I also risk more drain? No, that's the force. So, like, right now at a force three, you keep three hits. If you wanted to spend five reagents, you could keep five hits. If you wanted to spend four reagents, you would keep four. If you could spend two, you'd keep two, etc. Okay. You are to um, but... declare that when you declare force, and not after. Okay. But if you want um... to go ahead and spend them this time, you can go ahead and spend them. But the the drain calculation is still force minus one, right? Yep, drain calculation is still the same. All right. Um, I would have spent uh, six then, actually, not just five. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to go into. Uh, back into so I understand your protocols that you're having a situation but you must admit I'm very concerned for my friend he is here, we are here, we wish only to leave, surely you should let us go and then return to the hospital and attend to the situation at hand so he's going to get a uh, you know, roll to resist your drain in there too um more so Dante will see this because he's kind of facing him, but he'll get kind of like a ugh, look on his face and like Sir, there is a mage around here doing something and then um... I don't wish to stay here if there's some sort of mage doing something. We want to simply take my friend and leave. Is it the first time we see Sue doing that? Like, influencing people? Uh, he didn't do anything like that on the uh, on the first run, so... Okay. So, he's gonna... Uh, there you go, Dante's got this... knows what the, the fuck to do in this situation. Poor Steve. Oh, poor Steve. <laughs> Alright, Dante, you are up. Dude, my initiative sucks. Alright. So, free action, I can keep slowly walking towards the vehicle, right, without any Movement is not drawbacks. A, uh, it's not an action unless you are running. Okay. So I'm going to keep walking towards the vehicle. I'm going to pull my... What was it? The Fischetti Executive Action, which was previously loaded with Stick and Shock. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fire at him. Right, go ahead and roll your bang-bangs. 
Sue, do you want to go ahead and roll your reaction plus intuition real quick? Because <clears throat> from the sounds of things, Dante did not tell you guys that he was about to shoot, which means yeah, you might be surprised. All right, well, the good news for you, Dante, is poor security guard Steve is surprised because there are things going on. Um, what is your, your damage on that? Uh, seven base, and then stick and shocks, what, minus, minus three? Minus two, so eight. Uh, so he takes a whole... Uh, a whole bunch of zapping and twitching, and he's actually gonna like kind of fall to the ground. Like, ah, 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 ah. he's still conscious. Um, uh, at this point, will he be moving at all? He is on the ground, and he is not quite like uh, he is not unconscious. He will get a defense test on the next shot that's about to come up, but uh, he will be negative two so on his defense test because he's prone. He will get another negative one because he has not had an action in between the time that he's been shot at previously. And uh, minus one for being hit with stick and shock. So he's going to be at like negative four. So Dante, if you want to go ahead and just shoot poor security guard Steve again. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't uh, being shot with tasers or electrical damage, doesn't that uh, lower your initiative? Sure does. Oh, going tasers are awesome. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to text Dante, need a hand? Yeah, you can come on out. All right, so you, yeah. he tries to roll out of the way as you tag him again, and he just flops like a fish. Is he flopping around in a way that suggests that he's not a threat? Uh, he is flopping around in a way that suggests that he just had a large amount of electricity pumped through his system. Uh, and then he... Very suggestive. After after your second shot, he will he will cease moving. Uh, so uh, Rod would like to probably get out uh, and help drag him wherever he's uh, going to be dragged and start I've, the car. I, I, I've I've got to get ready to drive. Okay, so jump in the car. Okay. Are we taking him with us? Is that what's going on? No. Put him in the car and just leave. Um, I am going to start loading the corpse into the van. Yep. Yeah, but can I put Steve in his car? Sure. All right. Do I need to roll anything for that? Not really. He's he's not exactly resisting. Um, and it's like and you're a giant. You are not a small man. <laughs> Alright. And Hex, I imagine you're just dumping down to the host. Well, I don't know that I was told, hey, we're out. You can ditch the host. You I have... was thinking once we get out of camera range. <laughs> you have uh you have access to your team's cameras. So like you can and... you can see them running across the uh the parking lot. Okay, once they get out of there, I'm dumping the host. As soon as they're clear of that door, I am dumping the host. I don't care. Okay, you are out of the host, sir. If you not suffer dump shock, I don't need to roll anything, right? No, you're not like locked or anything. You can just, like, switch to AR and then jack out. And as soon as Hex jumps out of and, like, wakes up, I go down. It's like... <laughs> Hex, you are underneath a blanket. That is assumedly not where you were when you, uh... When you went to you are probably very sweaty. I'm going to slowly pull the blanket off my face. There's a corpse next to you. A <laughs> body bag. Cover your own mouth. I'm going to calmly get up and kind of slowly slide my way over towards the passenger seat if I can. <laughs> okay. So you guys will be able to... Uh... Sue, are you doing anything other than putting him back in his car? Um, I hadn't really, really planned on it. If anybody has a suggestion, I'm open to it. GTFO? Yeah. 
I mean, uh, Bams, it would take something, right, to make his car go around, like hack it or something? Yeah, you would need to hack it or like put a brick eh, on so the gas pedal or it. something like that. So it's not worth it. Maybe, maybe like you know, make it die, so like it's not on. Sure. <laughs> and go. Um, I'm also gonna reset my head. Yeah, no, that that I assume came out when you jacked out. Dante, you don't know. Do you have those drugs on you. Well, just mechanically. Potentially. Looking at Narcojet, if he resisted none of it, you're doing about seven points of physical damage. Um, to, to somebody that has a full stun track, you would be doing seven points of physical damage just on the the 15 divided by two. I guess technically, Unless we gave him some fun drugs. I guess just technically, to make him if you... Because uh, you have to round up. But, uh, um, yeah, you guys can just drive off into the, uh, into the sunset or sunrise. That's what we be. do. And yeah, uh, the jet buckles in. Well, I've had worse evenings. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, um, except the key situation, like forgetting the key that stuff is locked. I mean, everything went pretty smooth. Lee. <laughs> oh man they had a key there so it was fun. Uh, on that note we will probably call it for the night because I gotta get up in five hours um, and yeah no we, we can talk next week about the the ending of this and then the aftermath and some of the wonderful things that happened and what exactly that, that pretty red pie meant <laughs> I'm just going to point out that right now you're kind of all crammed up with my drones and a dead body in the back of a van. Yeah. So it's going to be and, a nice uh, journey home. Yeah, and somebody has a mild claustrophobia that wasn't coming into play and has a, a code of honor that we might oh, need to talk about the specifics right. of. Turn on the AC. <laughs> Keep it from smelling up the place. I don't. And I close the back portion. So, you know, it's not spilling over. I do have one important question for you guys, though. Why why didn't you just dig him up after they buried him? Bams, I mean, why would you? Well, I had asked at the meet with the Johnson, and she said that she'd prefer he wasn't buried. Yeah. Because that was my initial reaction. Mm-hmm. Plus, you wouldn't have anything to do then. I mean, we were t looking out for you. Yo, you would have gotten the meat this lurch. Be as upsetting. This isn't the 19th century. We're not grave robbers. I mean, you kind of are. Says who? We're preemptive grave robbers, okay? We're corpse snatchers. That's different. As far as I'm concerned, this was an extraction. Extraction of a, of a permanently sleeping man. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, we can, uh, we'll call it for the night, and then I can answer questions during the week, and then next week we will get you guys paid, and we will talk a little bit about some of the things that happened. Um, and then I guess, um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do after that. Did you guys have a kind of run that you wanted to do next? Provided we can, you, you know, don't get killed in the next week. We, we can talk about it during the week. I mean, you guys yeah. are probably very sleepy. Yeah, I, I could go to bed. Alright then, I will uh, I will talk to you guys throughout the week and I'll see you guys online uh, at some point.